Hello and welcome to My Finance Teacher. Today is 8th of May 2018. Congratulations! With the Victory Day, we should remember the previous generations that fought for us. Now, looking at gold at the moment, we are starting with the US dollar chart. The US dollar has experienced a nice rally over the last 2 3 weeks, but I don't think this rally is going to continue for that much longer. First of all, this intermediate cycle in dollar generally lasts for about half a year. It started in uh, middle of August, so that gives us more than two months by now. We are getting close to three months since this intermediate cycle has started, and based on duration, dollar should soon start a declining phase of this cycle. So that's one of the reasons why I don't think this rally is going to continue that much longer, although there is a potential for it to reach uh, close to 94, that will be close to the previous top that we've seen in the previous intermediate cycle in the dollar. Another reason why I don't think this is going to continue for that much longer is because dollar is a little bit stretched too far above this 100-day and 50-day moving averages and it's even poked above the 200-day moving average. And lastly, the third reason, most important I think, why I don't think dollar is going to continue rallying for that much longer is looking at the RSI, we are already in the overbought territory on the 14-day on the RSI. So for those three reasons, I don't think the rally is going to give us that much more. Let's have a look at what do I expect. I expect some sort of a pullback relatively soon to retest this 200-day moving average. After the pullback, I think dollar still has another attempt at rallying a little bit further because of this upcoming FOMC meeting in the middle of June. That's actually on the 13th of June. And the market expects a rate hike in the middle of June. So for that reason, I think there might be quite a nice chance for dollar to sort of uh, oscillate anywhere between 92 to 94 over the next several weeks until the FOMC meeting in the middle of June. After that, I expect dollar to enter the declining phase of this intermediate cycle in earnest and generally dropped until the beginning of August. Now looking at Fibonacci retracement numbers, this was the previous top that we saw in the previous intermediate cycle. Currently we've already retraced more than 78% of the previous decline. And generally if 78% doesn't hold as, as a resistance zone, then there is, there is quite, a, quite a strong potential for dollar to continue moving up without that much resistance until creating this sort of a double top near 94. So I'm going to move this area a little bit, uh, indicating a possibility that this rally might continue, as I mentioned, but not for that much longer. After that, I expect a retest of 200-day moving average, continuation of a bit of a rally into the FOMC meeting, followed by a declining phase in this intermediate cycle. How does this translate into our forecast for gold? Let's have a look at the chart of gold at the moment. And the first thing I want to notice here is that compared to the beginning of March, gold hasn't actually moved that much lower. Whereas at the same time, what happened to the US dollar is compared to the beginning of March, US dollar currently is more than 2% higher. So that I think is promising. However, I do expect some weakness in, go in gold over the next several weeks. As I said, as dollar retests the 200-day moving average over the next uh, couple of weeks, I expect gold to gain some momentum upwards, probably retest this 100 or 50-day moving average. And with the FOMC meeting coming up in the middle of June, I expect gold to finally give us an intermediate cycle low somewhere by the middle of June, by this FOMC meeting, close to, well, 1280 sounds good. It's sort of a round number. And again, looking at Fibonacci retracement numbers, that was the previous low in the middle of December. Here's a um, 62% retracement. That is often a support or resistance zone as well. And that, that, is, that is at about 84. 1284. So 1280, 1284 is quite likely to be the intermediate cycle low. If this forecast plays out over the next several weeks, that is going to give us a nicely discernible lower low. 
which is usually one of the requirements to a recognizable intermediate cycle low. Actually, there is a lower low over here compared to the fir first of March, and there is a small chance, there is a small chance that we're past the intermediate cycle low within this short intermediate cycle and gold is going to shoot upwards. There is a small chance of that, but I, I don't really expect this to play out because we haven't seen anywhere close to oversold levels on the 14-day RSI. So another lower low coming, RSI probably touching or going into the oversold territory and that will finally be nice pattern to enter some long positions. Talking about positions, me personally, I did make a small purchase with about 40% of my gold portfolio over here at the beginning of May with an off chance that that dollar just shoots off from here. However, I do expect to make another purchase somewhere around 1280, bringing my average price lower compared to where it is at the moment. Remember, this is definitely not an investment advice. You need to make your own decisions. This is my opinion on what the charts are telling us. Thanks for your attention. Remember to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more analysis, and have a nice day.